A few weeks ago, I wrote a blog post at OSTraining.com talking about all the great changes coming for site builders in Drupal 10.1. Well, 10.1 is here. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, well, I'm going to walk us through all of the really cool new features for site builders in Drupal 10.1. And there's some really great enhancements here. Let's take a look. All right, I'm over here at a plain vanilla brand new installation of Drupal 10.1. The only thing I've added is admin toolbar. Over at Drupal.org, you can read the release notes for Drupal 10.1. It was released on June 22nd. The link is in the description below. All right, well, let's talk about all of the fun stuff. First up on the list, CK Editor now actually respects the number of rows you add into the Manage Form Display. So Structure, Content Types, Article, and Manage Form Display. And you'll see that by default, Drupal has nine rows in the Body field and three rows in the Summary field. And if I head over to Content and Add Content and Article, well, there we are. The body field has nine rows. The summary field has three. That's a welcome addition, although it really wasn't a big deal in previous versions of Drupal 10. It just didn't look that great and was a little confusing to brand new content editors. Next, and this one I'm super excited for, the bulk operations have been removed from the top and delete content now isn't the default. I got to tell you, I've spent more than a few minutes explaining to new people to Drupal. Why on earth delete content is the default here? And I'm so glad that's gone because it just wasn't the best. So now if I multi-select, I have to actually select the one I want to do. And it's nicely tucked down here at the bottom out of the way. I think that's fantastic. And honestly, most of the time you hardly ever use this. Anyway, if you have workflows turned on, most of these options won't work within your workflows. Number three, block permissions. And again, this one I think is terrific. Now they've done something interesting here under structure and block layout. You still have the block types menu, but it's also now under structure block types all on its own. It goes to exactly the same place. I imagine at some time they'll clean that up and remove the one from the block layout menu because it's now separated. But if I click on basic block, I now have the very familiar edit, manage fields, manage form display, manage display, and yes, manage permissions on a user role by user role basis. This is awesome and a welcome addition to Drupal 10. Number four, <laughs> and I love this one too. So I teach a lot of layout and theming. Over the last few years, I've taught hundreds and hundreds of people how to do layout and theming in Drupal 10. And one of the biggest pains has been turning twig debugging on. Well, now it's under configuration, development, development settings, and boom, we now have twig development mode, twig debug mode, disable twig cache, and do not cache markup. All of this is such a welcome addition for themers who are trying to get their jobs done. Fantastic. This also alleviates the issue of having to change the permissions on your settings.yaml file just so you can turn this on. Another great update in the area of permissions is in the area of file management. Now, any user role can be given the option to delete any file, not just their own. And again, this is not as big a deal if you're using things like the media manager, which I recommend instead of file uploads fields. But for those sites that are still using it, again, a welcome addition. This is not as big a deal, but number five is the display the date as time ago. So I'm going to head over structure, content types, and article and manage fields where I've added a date field. And I've said under manage display, well, show that date field as time ago. What does that look like? Here in my article, I put in the release date for Drupal 10, which was June 22nd. And as of the time of this recording, that was four days and three hours ago. That's pretty cool. Last but not least, the CK Editor 5 code block 
can now be updated to only allow certain kinds of code. Over to configuration, content authoring, text formats, and editors. I'm going to configure full HTML. Scroll down, and here, of course, is the code block. If I drop that in, now I can edit the provided languages for that code block. On more technical sites, this can be a really handy thing. Well, that's it. Well, that's it. There's tons more under the hood for Drupal developers, but for you ambitious site builders out there, that's a Dries term, ambitious site builders, there's some really nice updates here in Drupal 10. I hope this video has given you a good overview of that and it's been helpful in your journey towards Drupal 10.1 goodness. <laughs> My name is Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.